Hello! So, topic of discussion for today is crazy juice diets. I've become increasingly aware of people on my Facebook feeds and in my social media uh, that are selling these, these products. Quite honestly, I really, really hate them. I don't like them at all. And you've got to really ask yourself is if you're going to buy into these and try any of these juice style diets that are out there uh, with some shakes and you're replacing real food, right? You've got to question the ethics of those companies that are selling these products, okay? It's something that I've come very aware of and I'm probably going to offend a few people that I know that are probably selling them. And I'm not going to pick on any particular brand or any particular person, but it really infuriates the hell out of me. I, I really don't like the products. I don't like what they're about. I don't like the ethics, of, business ethics that are based around them. And I don't like what goes into half of these products. And, you know, what what the, for me, the biggest issue I find with um, these juice or shake replacement diets is, at the end of the day, people just need to eat real food. If you're not going to eat real food and you're going to start having shakes, the body is not going to work as hard to break the food down, right? Which is going to uh, use energy at the end of the day. If you're consuming a shake that's pretty much made up of water, what, what's obviously going to happen, right? You're going to consume less calories, yes. You're going to get that. But is your body going to work as hard to break down uh, the food that's going in. So the calories you expend by breaking down food. Ask yourself that. You've got to also ask yourself is why is that person selling those particular type of shakes, drinks? Something that I've noticed and I've come across more recently is a lot of PTs are selling it. Okay, and why are they selling it? I don't know, maybe they're not making enough money and they want to supplement the, the finances because they're not making money from PT. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's certainly not driven because that, that stuff's going to help you and make you um, uh, amazing transformations or weight loss at the end of the day. And um, something else I want to, I suppose, add to that is that I would, if it was me being offered them, uh, you know, out of a business ethic, I wouldn't sell them. I'll never ever sell products like that. Yes, I have dealings with nutrition supplementation companies, but only the highest quality ones, right? And these are companies that I've done courses through and studied their product. I've learned about the products. Uh, I've learned uh, and done a course around their products that are not specifically connected, but I understand what they do. Now, half of the people out there, or the majority of the people out there I'm aware of, don't even have any nutritional qualifications. So they do not understand nutrition enough to even warrant being able to say, oh, this product's amazing because it's got X, Y, and Z in it. And you know, do you want to know something really funny? I had somebody approach me once that tried to tell me the, the name of an amino acid that was in one of their products, right? And they couldn't even pronounce it right. Nor could they tell me any more information than I could have found in a men's health magazine, right? So that tells me how little they are trained. Right? Are they, and again, ask yourself this, when someone tries to say it, are they qualified to give nutritional advice out? Because I can bet you bottom dollar that they're not. They don't have any certifications or anything that qualifies them to say, yep, yeah, I know what's in this. This product is really good for you. Try it. Right? It's all about money at the end of the day. It's all about making money. So my word of advice for you today is, do your research, don't believe what everyone tells you, question what I'm telling you, question what anyone else tells you in the fitness world, right? Because it's just like a lot of products out there, you don't actually need them, you just need to eat, eat real food, right? Cavemen didn't go and make up a juice shake, or women make up a juice shake, did they? No, they went and wrestled down their uh, meats, and or they went and forage for the berries and uh, or the plant materials that they ate. So what does that tell you? Yeah? Anyway, my rant's over. Just wanted to get it off my chest because I was quite wound up yesterday when I was talking to my partner about it. I was going to make a video, but I thought maybe it's, I need to uh, 
cool down a little bit and think about what I'm going to say rather than just going off on one uh, because I don't want people to waste their money um, and potentially disrupt their health um, using these shakes uh, when you're replacing real food uh, with shakes it's never a good sign all right take care I might come back and do a longer one on this at some point in the future bye bye